Hi, welcome to our first edition of Transportation Technology News. I'm your host, Jenny Ford, and today's guest is 2017's Data Visionary of the Year, as awarded by Hortonworks at the 2017 Hadoop Conference, and TMW's own CIO, Tim Leonard. Tim is well known for his leadership in the development of advanced business analytics and big data solutions that help drive actionable intelligence for commercial and private fleets. In his latest white paper, The Future of the Freight Supply Chain, he brings to light how we are already seeing increasing volumes of data being captured and processed to facilitate a better understanding of everyday life. Industry experts are already struggling to leverage vast amounts of data. How can our viewers get the competitive edge given so much information? Artificial intelligence is actually inseminating itself in the transportation world. Personal assistance, enterprise assistance, customer assistance actually help facilitate us without trying to go out and hire. These large volumes of vast amounts of data through artificial intelligence and automation actually are a helping stone in create activities and actually taking transportation without trying to hire lots of individuals. As your white paper states, to thrive in an increasingly globalized world, each supply chain entity must reevaluate its assumptions and processes. Can you explain exactly what you mean by this? Thanks so much again. It, it really goes back to the word disruption. A lot of people don't look at the word evolution and revolution. Evolution, for example, are technology components in which we enhance. Things like CRM to make our everyday sales cycle a little bit more efficient. Revolution is concepts that no one else is doing. Business world and transportation around uh, the opportunities of revolution really focus in on our abilities to call velocity of data. Looking at brand new data sets that we've never ever seen before that's integrated with our operational data. Freight, for example, within zip codes. We know that we've got thousands of different zip codes deadheading at certain locations. What happens if we have a unique opportunities with, through the community to actually transform the way we uh, allocate deadheading capabilities inside of deadheading um, freight uh, relocations? Why is data so important for end-to-end -end supply chain visibility? Well, absolutely. One of the greatest challenges we have is actually the convergence of shippers and carriers. What happens if we don't have the abilities of good true metrics across both those fields? Today, most of our analysis is focused heavy on carrier-based data, metrics that we measure that. We need to actually look at both shippers and carriers that helps to actually control that relationship and actually bring a harmonization to both those two fields. One of the greatest assets that we can ever do is take our data and use it as a metrics to actually help us improve our, our communications across both the shippers and the carriers. What is the biggest change that affects the supply chain today? Well, I think it's the ability to actually enable the small carriers. Um, when you look at the transportation industry, 90% of the, of the transportation industry is made up of small carriers. What happens if we level the playing fields, giving them and empower them to have the same buying power and negotiation power as some of the large carriers? So the opportunity to actually make a good level playing field so that we grow together as a company and as a nation, I think that's the greatest opportunities that we have. Applying some of these advanced analytics to actually give the small carriers just as much community-based opportunities as it is a large carrier. That's going to actually enable us to grow together. So Tim, where do we go from here to increase business value for the freight supply chain? I think the biggest one is the freight. Everybody talks about the drivers, the lack of drivers. I, I really believe that unless we do optimization capabilities around the freight itself, the modes, the, the, the robotics, the uh, autonomous capabilities, freight becomes so critical for us. Why not have an intelligence framework that actually helps doing everyday modernization opportunities with inside of freight itself? Freight has to be the key how to ship it, how to process it, how to build it inside of the trucks with the best capacity. Freight is the key in terms of harmonizing where we need to go. Thanks for tuning in to our first edition of Transportation Technology News. Please visit www.tmwsystems.com's white paper section to download Tim Leonard's white paper, The Future of the Freight Supply Chain.